Good morning. Good morning. So good to be with you again this morning. Always have to maneuver these stairs. Okay. So this morning, I wanted to tell you a story because we're going to be talking about a subject that's sometimes uncomfortable. It's about how do we deal with the disagreements. And I don't know about y'all, but I think right now is a great time to talk about that. So um, with a lot of things going on. But I wanted to tell you an old fable, an old story. There was a farmer, and he had two sons, and the farmer died, and he divided the land that he had between his two sons. And so the two sons worked the land, and they got along, until one day they got in a huge disagreement. And the disagreement grew to such levels that they did not speak to each other for years. So one day, a guy came along, he was a carpenter, and he said, hey, do you have any work that I could do for you? And one of the brothers said, yeah, I would love you to build me a fence. I want you to build me a high fence around my entire property. So the brother left, and when he came back, he looked out, and there wasn't a fence. Instead, the carpenter had built a bridge. And when he looked out over the bridge, what he saw was his brother coming halfway across the bridge. And when the brother got halfway across the bridge, the other brother went to the bridge. They met in the middle, and they embraced, and their life changed. There's a, there's a verse in the Bible, in Matthew, and it says, if a fellow believer hurts you, go and tell them. Work it out between the two of you. If he listens, you have made a friend. And I think sometimes, and we talk about this a lot with children, but let's be real adults. <laughs> we need to be the ones modeling this. Sometimes we have a disagreement with our brothers or our sisters in Christ, and sometimes when that happens, we often build a fence between them and ourselves. We stop talking to them, we don't want to see them, and we don't want to be around them. That isn't what Jesus wants us to do. He wants us to build bridges instead of fences. And so I just want to challenge us, um, even this week, to think about maybe who we need to go to and clear some things up with, or the person God wants us to be as we deal with this difficult time in our world, that we be bridges to people and not continue to build fences. So I'd like to say a prayer with you, and um, we can go practice this. Dear Lord, today we're going to talk about a topic that's not easy, and it's very easy to look at everybody else around us and think that they're building the fences and we're building the bridges when really, in reality, we're all building some fences. And so, Lord, help us to listen carefully as Pastor Les talks about this very important subject, but to think about where we fit and where we fall into it so that we can help our world be a better place, and especially so it can be a better place for these beautiful children who will be living in it in the future. In your name we pray, amen. 